Brad Dyson here. I wonder if you remember this. You know, millions of meteors and other space debris enter the Earth's atmosphere every day. Most of them are small and burn up before reaching the ground. The ones that enter the atmosphere in the daylight uh, usually go unnoticed, but meteors which enter the atmosphere at nighttime are more visible and are commonly called falling stars. How long has it been since you've seen a falling star? An average of about 17 meteors per day reach the Earth's surface, whether it be on the land or water, at which time they're called meteorites. On November 30th, 1954, one such meteor was traveling through space and heading towards Earth. The meteor entered the atmosphere at a high rate of speed and began to burn. The meteor was extremely hot and under immense pressure. At about 12.45 p.m., when the meteor was about 40 miles up in the Earth's atmosphere, it could no longer withstand the heat and pressure and exploded. 34-year-old Hewlett Hodges was enjoying a peaceful afternoon nap in a home she rented on the outskirts of Sylacauga, Alabama. The day had been uneventful so far, and Mrs. Hodges expected the remainder of the day to be equally as lackluster. As she slept, the 12-pound meteorite struck the home, tore a three-foot wide hole through the roof of the living room, ricocheted off of her husband's console radio, and struck Mrs. Hodges on her arm and hip as she slept. Even though it had reached a burning hot temperature as it passed through the atmosphere, by the time it reached Mrs. Hodge's living room, it was too cold to handle. The meteorite left Mrs. Hodge's with substantial bruising, but no serious injuries. Witnesses in three states reported seeing a bright flash followed by an explosion in the sky. A resident of Smith Station, Alabama, about 90 miles southeast of Sylacauga, uh, telephoned the Russell County Military Sheriff's Office and reported seeing the flash and hearing the explosion. Like many others who witnessed it, the resident thought she had witnessed a mid-air airplane collision. Crews aboard two Army helicopters from Fort Benning, Georgia, and several airplanes from Lawson Airfield began searching a 30-mile radius from the Chattahoochee River for the crash site. After several hours of searching, the search party received reports from Maxwell Air Force Base near Montgomery of a possible meteorite striking a house at Sylacauga. Searchers in the town, which included members of the National Guard, the state police, reporters, and spectators, drove the back roads around Sylacauga. They followed Army helicopters from Maxwell Air Force Base and converged on Mrs. Hodge's home. Newspapers reported in jest that some meteorites, including the one that struck Mrs. Hodges, continue to travel with great velocity after reaching the Earth. An Air Force helicopter crew took possession of the meteorite so it could be studied at the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. A few days later, the meteorite was flown to Washington, D.C. Finally, after being in our nation's capital for just two days, Mrs. Hodge's attorney retrieved the meteorite and returned it to her. Within days of the crash, interest in Mrs. Hodge's and her meteorite soared. The Hodge's received nearly a hundred offers for the meteorite. The Dayton Art Institute offered $5,000 for the meteorite, the highest price offered at the time. The Smithsonian Institute was interested in the object but was unwilling to pay more than $900 for it. In the midst of the media hype, Mrs. Hodges appeared on an episode of the television game show, I've Got a Secret, in which a panel tried to guess what her secret was. Seeing how much interest there was in the meteor, the owner of the home Mrs. Hodges had rented sued Mrs. Hodges to take possession and ownership of the meteorite. Mrs. Hodges and the landlord ended up settling out of court and Mrs. Hodges retained ownership of the meteorite. In 1955, Mrs. Hodges sold the meteorite to the Alabama Museum of Natural History at the University of Alabama, where it and the console radio remain on display to this day. What are the odds of being struck by a meteorite? Michael Reynolds, author of Falling Stars, A Guide to Meteors and Meteorites, said, 
you have a better chance of getting hit by a tornado and a bolt of lightning and a hurricane all at the same time. Although millions of meteors enter our atmosphere each day and an average of 17 reach the ground, according to Guinness Book of World Records, Mrs. Hodges is the only person in recorded history to be injured by a meteorite. Take a look at this video of Mrs. Hodges on I've Got a Secret. Well, all right, now then let's have our next contestant, please. Will you come in? Sit in nice and close, please, and tell the panel what your name is and where you're from. Mrs. Hewlett Hodges from Sylacauga, Alabama. Mrs. Hewlett Hodges, and she is from Sylacauga, Alabama. Now, Mrs. Hodges, you whisper your secret to me. The folks at home would like to read it. <laughs> All right, panel. Uh, this is the one. Now, to help pacify this secret, I will tell you it concerns something that happened to her. And, Henry, uh, we'll start with you. Um... I didn't hear your name, ma'am, but, um... It's Mrs. Mrs. Hodges. Oh, everybody heard it. Uh, <laughs> Mrs. Hodges, did uh, this thing get into the newspapers? Yes. Would I be interested in knowing how long ago? Pardon, I didn't hear the question. Would I be interested in knowing how long ago? Mmm, you might, yeah. How long ago? <laughs> Don't answer. Don't answer. They've got to be answerable by yes or no. Over five years? No, no, not over five this years. This year? Yeah, this year. Yeah. This month? No. Well, sometime, uh, 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 sort of recently this year. Yeah. All right, we've lost $10. We found out it's just recently, and $70 to go and pretty pay. Mrs. Hodges, was it a happy event for you? I would say uh, it was one of mixed blessings. Not too happy at the time, but it's uh, turned out not to be too unfortunate later, huh? Okay. Was there somebody else involved in your secret? Mm. No. Was there an object involved? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, did, was it a physical action that you did? Oh, it was something that happened to her. Therefore, it wasn't something that she did. But what happened to her was physical. Oh, I have it. I think. You're not the lady that the meteor fell on, are you? What <laughs> meteor? How did you know, Faye? Well, it's kind of sneaky, but you said at the beginning, you said, uh, yes, this is the lady, or this is the one. And then uh, you said something happened to her. Well, let me say this. Now, uh, we talked uh, before the show went on the air as to whether or not we should call Mrs. Hodges Mrs. X, you see? Mm -hmm. uh, because usually if it's somebody that the audience will recognize, we then call them Mrs. X. Uh -huh. uh, because we think it's only fair to them. But I thought that, you know, the meteorite was such a big thing that few people actually remembered the name of the person. Well, but I didn't remember her name, but I remember her face now from the newspaper pictures. Well, apparently we did her a disservice by, by not calling her Mrs. X, and I gave it away. So if you don't mind, we're going to admit, we're going to admit that it's absolutely right. Uh, she is the lady who was hit by the meteorite, but also I'm going to forfeit because I think I gave it away. We're going to give her the complete $80. Imagine you are lying in your bed of a morning. What time, what time of the day was this? 12.45. 12.45. And this comes through the roof and hits you. And that's another thing, Gary. She said it wasn't happy exactly, you know. That's right, yes. Mm -hmm. This is the actual meteorite, Miss Hodges? Yes, that's right. It's the first time I've ever seen a star or a hunk of a star or anything like it. It's almost amazing, you know. It's a, a little uh, awe-inspiring. I understand there's also litigation involved. Uh, who claims they now own the meteorite? Well, the landlady says it's hers. Because it came through her roof. Yes. Yeah. It landed on your hip, didn't it? That's right. Well, I tell you what, I probably shouldn't take any sides in this. I ain't no lawyer, but I claim if you're lying in bed and a meteorite comes along and hits you, but if it happened to me, I'd say it was my meteorite, is the way I <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give you again, more in a more gentle fashion, this nine pound gift plus the $80 Thank that you, you won. Uh, we can drop this through your roof if you prefer. Okay. You'll just take it that way, huh? Thank you very much, Mrs. Hodges, for doing this. Tell me, did you remember this? I'm Brad Dyson. Thank you for watching.